So check it, I know that we are constantly got so much going on and our attention's being pulled in all these different directions and yeah, it's like, okay, but if you are not doing this one thing every single day, you are doing yourself a huge disservice. And I'm gonna share with you how to review your goals and achieve more. What is up my fellow goal getter? Welcome back to another video. My name is Zach. If this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to crush your goals and dominate life, make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way you don't miss anything. We are getting started right now. All right, so, so I used to be that guy that, you know, I got so much going on, I don't have time to sit down and review my goals and write them down and all that stuff. Like, I just don't have time to do it. Uh, I, I got kids to take care of, uh, a, a relationship with my wife, a relationship with my friends, a business I'm building. I just don't have time to do this, you know? But when I finally started reviewing my goals, I do it all the time, but at least twice a day, uh, I started getting more things done, and there's reasons for that, and I'm gonna share with those those with you right now. But first, if you if this is your first time here, and or if you haven't downloaded my free Goal Getter Cheat Sheet, I encourage you to do it right now. You can do it right there. This process is something that I developed over years of studying effective goal setting and an effective goal achievement, the steps to take, how it all works, the ins and outs of everything. And this goal setting process, this process that I developed allowed me to turn my life around from spending over five years of my life in prison, being addicted to drugs, to making a complete transformation, becoming a responsible father and a successful entrepreneur. And I want you to have it, but I don't want you just to look and read it. I want you to implement it. So grab it and implement it. All right. The, the, the main reason why we review our goals all the time is because simple, we get what we focus on. So whatever we focus on the majority of the time is what we're going to get. It's what we're going to be pulled to instead of having to push and try and get it. We're going to be pulled to our goals. So if we're constantly, constantly reviewing our goals and noticing what's working, what's not and changing our approach, but constantly have it in mind, we are going to be drawn to that. So keep our focus on our goals, on the things that we do want, not what we don't want. Cause if we focus on what we don't want, we're going to get those results. It's simple, but it is very powerful. Another reason why we want to review our goals all the time is because checking off those daily goals, it feels good. And, and at the same time, as you feel good checking off those goals, it builds confidence. And the more you do this, the more confident you become in your abilities. And then you take on higher, you, you raise the standards and you take on more challenging obstacles and goals and you build more confidence in the process. It's a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Uh, do it. And at the same time, reviewing your goals daily, like when you first get up in the morning, you go through your morning ritual, you know, whatever it is, how you get primed for the day, and then you get to look at your goals as part of your morning ritual and get to see what you have to focus on. That should motivate you. Like I, I, I get up every single day, I, I roll out of bed, I'm thankful, I, I, I do my gratitude thing, I, or I think of everything that I can be grateful for in this very moment, then I get the kids ready off to school, then I do my, do my running, reading, and, and, and uh, my exercise reading, and then I go, to my goals and I do some meditation too, but I need to get back on track with that. But when I look at the goal, it gets me fired up for the day. I'm like, all right, this is what I'm gonna accomplish today. This is what I'm gonna set out to do. I set the intention the night before and this is what I'm gonna do today. It's a great feeling, dude, just just do it. And the final tip, by, by reviewing your goals constantly, twice, twice a day at least, but as much as you can, you become a better long-term decision maker. And the key to success is by thinking long-term, you know, because we're all caught up in this instant gratification. That's just the way society trains us. We have information at our fingertips. Um, we, we, we get this dopamine rush from likes and follows and stuff on, on social media and all this, all this stuff. Uh, you know, we have fast food at our disposal. All this stuff is, you know, feel good now, but you're gonna feel horrible later. But if we keep our focus on a long-term focus, we're, we're gonna make better decisions. And if we think in a long-term focus on what's gonna bring us pleasure and how to avoid pain, we will be more happy and live a more fulfilled life. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna watch more videos that are just like it, make sure you check out this playlist right there. And if you're not subscribed to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? I'm just playing, but seriously, if you feel like I'm bringing you value through the content on this channel, if it is serving you and helping you crush more goals and dominate life, I ask that you hit the subscribe button, tap the bell notifications, that way you don't miss anything, and as always, my winning friend, 
Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.